So we're back here at DevOps, uh, and I'm here with Sam Dutton to talk about disruptive hey. media. That's what yeah, your session was absolutely. called. So, yeah. um, so you think that um, you, you're working on standards, and uh, to you believe standards can actually help to create, uh, stimulate content creation, and and by content creation we mean, you know, maybe even artists, and we can huh. bring to the web something that yeah. was not there today. So tell me what. Yeah, no, sure. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing what, uh, you know, people make of WebRTC. I mean, at this point, uh, you know, it's been uh, kind of in the hands of people who do telephony and video conferencing and so on. But I think what's really exciting is what web developers are going to make because they're going to do a whole stack of creative stuff with that now. It's fantastic. So WebRTC is just one of the technologies and we'll talk about that. Is yeah. that part of a bigger picture or is that the one and only thing you need? Yeah, so WebRTC has, uh, has several components. So... Um, you know, it needs some. You need some way to uh, get uh, streaming media to work with uh, WebRTC. So that has the the Media Stream API. People have done some stuff already. Some great demos using Get User Media with that. Uh, and then the kind of meat of the project is this thing called RTC Peer Connection, okay. which is the bit that deals with uh, streaming data between uh, two peers. Right, and, and peer is a browser. Yeah, so and a no peer is a browser. Involved in there. Yeah, no, that's right. So just to kind of rewind a bit, um, you know, uh, what we've had is with the uh, with the internet is the you know with the web we've had this kind of I don't know kind of kickstarting the information age. Um, we've had this ability to kind of share information, to create stuff and distribute it, right. and then to discover stuff and to to actually consume uh, content, and you know services and media and so on. Now. That's uh, that's great, but it's, there's been this kind of missing piece, which is the uh, the business of kind of person to person, like person to person communication. Uh, this is kind of one of the last, I don't know, really major challenges for the web, and this is what uh, we need with real time communication, and that's what WebRTC is bringing to us. So, and this is what used to cost a lot, and with, I mean yeah. systems. You yeah. can do that. We technically yeah, can yeah. do that today. Absolutely, yeah, sure. But the web can make that accessible to, you know, take it to the next level. Like yeah, that. yeah. So what we've had in the past is uh, kind of corporate closed systems that uh, have, some have worked better than others, but they've always been expensive to implement and difficult to integrate. Um, and, of course, there's never been a way to directly integrate stuff uh, with your web apps. Um, what we have now is uh, the use of plugins like Flash, which uh, you know, work well in many ways, but uh, are problematic, but are essentially closed and are separate. And also thinking about security, you know, they're not part of the sandbox browser environment. Right. So WebRTC has also been built with security in mind, using mm -hmm. secure protocols, and uh, because it's within the browser, continually updated, sandboxed, it's inherently more secure. So what do you send? What, what kind of data can you share? Uh, yeah. I mean, the, 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 <laughs> I mean, developers care about uh, that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to think what people are going to do with it. So with WebRTC, the kind of core of it is this idea of, of voice and video calling. Right. Uh, that kind of makes sense. So um, a lot of the optimizations have been about working with voice to, to essentially uh, do what you can do with telephony. But uh, we've also got uh, this uh, ability to do really high quality video chat. We're already seeing very good quality, very uh, you know, low latency, low latency video key, chat, right. which is yes. fantastic. Um, the uh, third kind of part of the WebRTC picture in a way is an API called Data Channel. Now what that enables you to do is arbitrary streaming data between browsers. So that's like anything. So you could be streaming any kind of arbitrary data, not just audio, video data, anything. So wow. a stack of really, I mean, who knows? Oh who yeah, knows? I, can, I can imagine quite a yeah. few things already. Yeah. So um, maybe for developers, what does RDC mean? I mean, where do they get yeah, started? Yeah. And, and why is it even a good thing in the first place? I mean, they like yeah. Flash today, and maybe that, yeah, at so least for the player that, that offers Absolutely. So I mean, you know, we've talked to Flash developers who've, uh, you know, have uh, kind of had some struggles really, and and uh, you know are really pleased to hear about the project in particular because it's uh, you know WebRTC provides they're just more they're just APIs within the browser, so they're really easy to integrate with uh, your existing workflow and your existing web apps. It is web development. Yeah, right? it's, it's web development. API, it's not like right? you've got to bring in the Flash guy or the right. whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got people who work on the web, who use the web, who use the APIs. So that's the first part. The second big deal is that there's no licensing. You know, uh, Google has uh, done a huge amount of work on their stuff and made it 
then open sourced freely available. So there's no licensing for the developers or for the end users. So you know, it's good for everyone. Okay, great. So um, where should people go to get started if they're yeah. interested? And what does the next six months or 12 months or two years look like? Yeah, yeah. So um, the place to start with WebRTC is webrtc.org. Uh, it's the kind of natural home for WebRTC. Uh, there's uh, articles on HTML5 rocks. Uh, there's a book called WebRTC Book. Uh, really nice, uh, you know, book for the Kindle. It's about, uh, you know, it's six pounds or something. It's, it's cheap, about eight euros, I think. Yep. Um, there's uh, some great video, too. Uh, check out uh, Justin Uberti's Google I.O. video. Really good place to start. Um, and, yeah, there's uh, lots of resources online to... Right. What, what is the roadmap for where RT look yeah. like? Yeah, so the next six months, um, well, there's a lot of work on, uh, you know, uh, keeping going with standardization projects. Uh, we want to integrate uh, Mozilla work. Uh, you know, the WebRTC has just uh, been implemented in Firefox Nightlies and Aurora. Okay. Um, and we want to integrate the work there with the work that's in, been implemented in Chrome. Um, obviously, there's a big push now for mobile. That's, you know, the kind of natural home for uh, personal Absolutely. communication. And, uh, yeah, and then, of course, data channel to see a, an implementation. It is in Firefox, but we want to see that in Chrome soon. Okay, wonderful. So uh, lots of things to, to look at. Yeah, Thanks. indeed. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, cheers, Alexi. Good to talk.